Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up and use WinMayFly. From your terminal, create a folder that will host your workspace. Here we'll call it Fly Demo. And let's install WinMail using NPM. This will take a few seconds. And then we'll set up environment variables with this command. Now we're all set. As you can see, we have a folder that is completely empty. And with command windmill in it, we'll create a windmill.yaml file that will help us configure CLI. So, as you can see, we have already a workspace on windmill cloud, and we'll add it to our CLI using command windmill workspace add, and then add name of the workspace, ID of the workspace, and URL. Now the workspace is added, and let's try what we can do. For example, run a script from the workspace with command windmill script run, and it works indeed. So our folder is empty, and we would like to have our scripts and flows from the windmill workspace. There is command windmill sync pool for that, and see that we have scripts ordered by folders or user. We can see the type script file, we have also YAMLs. And with WinMail extension and VS Code, we can even preview the script and test it directly from VS Code. You can see that the change was taken into account. Let's save it and push it to WinMail workspace with command WinMail sync push. And it has worked indeed. And from the Wiimote, workspace, we can run the changes. That's great. Now let's look at what we can do with windmill.yaml. As you can see, includes is by default for all scripts and flows. Let's change it to include only folder script flows and apps. So for example, this script is in folder example folder. It has a change and this one has a user path, therefore not a folder. We'll push this and as you can see, only the script stored in a folder was pushed, as we can see here, and there were no changes for the user script. However, with option includes, you can override the ML configuration by providing the path of the script you want to, for example here, include, but you can also do the same for excluding. And of course, you can still run the script safely. So you're done with main WinMiCli commands. What's next is exploring the CLI options and using the CLI to implement a Git workflow and syncing WinMill with a remote Git repository. As you can see here on GitHub, we have a repository that syncs automatically with a workspace, as you can see on the graph here. This uses feature Git Sync that is exclusive to Enterprise Edition. WinUCLI, however, is free and available in open source edition. Thank you.